Welcome to DVCOM Technology. In my previous lab, I have completed my first and second task, and now I'm going to show it to you the third task. If you see here, my third task is change the default IP, subnet mask, and default gateway as per the laptop policy. As per my laptop policy, I need to specify the IP address as 192.168.10.5, which is slash 24, and the gateway is 10.1. And the DNS and alternate DNS, I am going to give it to you the Etzalat public DNSs. So let's minimize this and open your Aster S20 PBX through your browser. Just click login. Then after that, go to the settings. Then you can click on the network. Here you can able to do the network settings. So now I'm going to specify the host name as DVCOM. Then after that, I'm going to change the IP address as per my laptop policy, which is 192.168.10.5. And the gateway is 192.168.10.1. Then the preferred DNS is 213.42.20.20 then alternate DNS 195.229.241.222 now click save now save successfully please reboot to take effect reboot now then click yes now what I am going to do now I am going to change my default IP address which I given earlier so what I am going to do now I'm going to change the IP addresses in the same network. Why? Because I need to access my PBX. So let's go to your TCP IP version settings. Then give the IP addresses 192.168.10.10. Then after that, click OK. Then click Close. Say Close. Then after that, open your command prompt. And type the IP address of your PBX. 192.168.10.5. So now you just wait for a few seconds now. It will go into you successfully reboot and it's going to come back. Then after that, I can able to access my PBX with this IP address. Now I have a successful ping. So now what I'm going to do now, let's go and type 192.168.10.5. Then you can able to see the Aster IP PBX page. Then after that, type the username and enter your password. Then click login. Now we have completed successfully the task number three. So we change the default IP and we change the subnet mask and we change the default gateway as well. The fourth task is that I'm going to show it to you how to upgrade the latest firmware. So this task I'm going to show it to you in my next lab. Thank you for watching this video. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com.